Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. In my last video, we talked about the update, but we mainly focused on the new troop, the Lava Hound. We did some gameplay, saw what that troop could do, and that was great. We needed to see, you know, what it's capable of, what it's all about, and if we're going to use it or not. I concluded that, you know, it is going to be a really useful troop, but it's not going to be anything for farming. So we're not going to see it often, especially on my channel. So, other things that happened in the update. This was a huge update. A lot of little things and uh, big things, add-ons. Here we've got just a little tweak to the hero regeneration time. This is actually huge. This is huge. It's down to 108 minutes where it was 3 hours before. That's awesome for people like me who have level 30 to 40 heroes. Here we've got Valkyrie, training time down to 8 minutes. This makes her usable. People have always complained Valkyrie is not that useful, and her training time is ridiculous. Now that she's down to 8 minutes, just like a wizard, she can be used like a wizard to complement other armies and see what she can do. So we'll be experimenting with that. Here's the main event, level 7, Barbarians and Archers. This is awesome for a lot of farmers like me because we use this a lot. Those stat increases were good. They are, you know, roughly 15% stat increase on the damage. That's great. It doesn't look like a lot when you look at the number that's increasing, but if you're a Town Hall 10, you've got 240 barbs and archers out on the playing field. Any small increase in the stats is gonna add up in its entirety to a big increase of damage hitting the base you're attacking. This is huge. We're going to be able to mow through easy bases and we're going to be able to take down tough bases quicker. A lot of times when you're hitting storages with Barch, you need to get in and get that loot as quickly as possible because splash damage is devastating. So, let's see how these new level 7 troops perform with some replays from my clanmates who were, uh, <laughs> who needed them today. They, they weren't going to wait. I'm cool with that. I am going to wait because I'm, I'm a farmer at heart and I can't spend that many gems, but I'm glad these guys did because we needed to see this. So here we go. Just wrapping up the base. Belger here. Typical Bart strategy on a somewhat, well, actually very inactive base. Good loot here. He wrapped it up so quick. You see everything got taken out on the outside real fast and the inside layer is getting taken down now here you'll see this mortar level 6 mortar going up this up against these level 7 archers it does not kill them in one hit this is what it's all about this is what is great about these level 7 troops barbarians of course are a different story but the archers they will not die from from a mortar one level lower than them so that was a level 6 mortar. They will take two shots from those without dying. That's great. That's great for farming easy bases. Here we've got another great Barcher, Rady, who couldn't wait either to, for his troops to finish to level 7. I don't blame him. They look awesome and they're performing great. So you'll see they do have a slightly different look. They just look a little, little cooler. They uh, have a little added on graphics. So the hoods of the archers have... Uh, like a little, I can't really tell what it is, maybe a headband or something, and uh, most importantly, they have those arrows, those glowing, fiery arrows, that's awesome, they look more, more pronounced on the level 7. The barbs seem to have a glowing sword as well, and the barb stats at this point are just huge, they're little tanks, they give out great damage when in groups, so... This is, this is awesome. I'm real excited for this. Of course, we knew this was going to come eventually, but uh, to have it come now is just awesome. So here we got a little Barch versus Golem fight. This is going to be cool. I like any time uh, <laughs> defending troops and attacking troops come together and have a little battle. So let's see how they do. It looks like, yeah, the Barch is taking it down really quick. You would expect that because there's a lot there. Um, and then the golem splash kills all the barbs, but they really rip through that golem and that's just a testament to the damage per second of groups of these level 7 barbs and archers. This is going to be great. I'm going to use this all the time. I mean, I, I use it all the time even at level 6 and it's been fine for me. 
it works great. But seeing this little extra force, you can tell it just glides through bases better. You surround bases and your troops are spread pretty thin. But you got to have just enough damage to take out whatever you're in front of. You'll see there I'm just messing around with the pause button. It's kind of cool, right? Like you can pause and try to get a sort of a cool shot and look around. It's like, it's cool. It's not a super useful feature, but if you're commentating videos like this, I think it is. If you want to pause and, and stop and explain something. Also, the, uh, the troops bar at the bottom where it shows you what troops they have, what they've used. I just think that's awesome. It's a little, looks a little clumsy. There's a lot on the screen now, but that's all right. I mean, what we sacrifice in looks, we get in functionality here. This is this is a really functional replay system. Um, it sh it's showing you everything but uh, where the people's hands are, really. Um, so here we got another from Belger. He, he does a great, real fluid deployment like I do. Just wraps up the base as quickly as possible. He actually... He actually wraps up quicker than I do, and that's awesome. Looks really good. So look at how powerful this is against level 6 Splash. The uh, level 6 Splash can't take out the archers in one shot, like I said earlier. So they're just tearing this thing up. They got through the outer area and the inside of the walls, the first layer, in not long at all. That was less than 60 seconds. And they're still charging in. So... When you have a full camp of barbs and archers and they're this powerful, you can just do that. You can spread them thin. They're going to take everything out and just keep pushing in and, and focusing. And uh, just like that, you get it done easy. He didn't have to do anything special. In a lot of these raids, um, they didn't even need, you know, spells really or heroes. Uh, you know, that's another testament to... That little bit of extra power is going to go a real long ways. Uh, Barching, for me, doesn't always need heroes to pick up extra percent or loot. But I do carry my heroes. Um, I have them all the time. And, and I do end up using them sometimes. This little bit of stat increase could really help that. And Not that I don't want to use my heroes, but it's just pretty badass. When you can wrap up a base, take everything you want... And just use some barbs and archers. No spells, no CC, <laughs> and no heroes like Belger just did there. I mean, that's sick. I know that was just a Town Hall 9 base. It wasn't anything special, but he still made it look very easy. And I got mad respect for that. So, it'll take a while to get these uh, barbs and archers for me. It'll be several weeks before I'm doing a gameplay with both of them. Unless I get a little impatient, but... Um, <laughs> For now, I'm acting like I'm going to hold fast. Each each upgrade is two weeks, like everything at Town Hall 10. And so that's expected. Um, the cost of the barb upgrade was very reasonable. Six million to level seven. So barbs are always a little cheaper than archers. That's kind of expected, but still it's good. They could have made it seven and a half million like the archers. So I'm doing archers first. Um... I use more of them. I usually use, you know, 30% more archers than barbs, at least. So, I figure I better have the better archers first, and then do the barbs after. But I'm just as excited for the barbs. The barbs are a main part of this army. They are the tanks. It's like if you're using a giant-based army, you know, you're relying on the giants, you want high-level giants. Well, with this, you know, you're relying on those barbs a lot. They, um... They're tanks, but they also deal good damage, and that's what's good about Barch. Only problem is, it's vulnerable to Splash, but this new level helps that ever so slightly, and even slightly is better than nothing. So, here he did have to use his Archer Queen just to pick up a few percent, but overall, he picked off a lot of this base pretty easily. Um, bases like that are a pain in the ass sometimes when everything's inside so props to him all right guys that's it for today just wanted to show you those four replays since i don't have these troops yet i hope you guys enjoyed the update leave me uh comments below if you uh got anything to say that you like about it all right guys i'll see you next time